now a couple of more things regarding PLC. I know that it's not very common to have any other representation other than multiline when it comes to drawing PLC circuits. So this is the only representation you would need according to the NFPA style of drawing PLC circuits. In that case you would assign a main function at this place at these modules since they only appear once over here and that's it. These two pages are for you to understand that you have also other possibilities in case your customer demands that you create the REC overview and also signals grouped on a overview page type inside ePlan. As I said, an option that you are aware of it, that you have this kind of possibility. Another thing regarding overview page types and PLC representations, this here might appear a little bit too dense. In that case, you could additionally format this that you increase the distance between different fields in this row. Let's double click. This is the option, dock. So you can dock each and every field, of course. Let's dock this one. And these two also. And say, OK. Now they are currently over there. Let's see for the first one. Minus two. Let's say for this one, minus three. And then for the next one, minus four. And for the last one, minus 5. Let's copy this value of the x, that is of the y. For this, minus 6. over here to have the exact same. You could copy all of this or all of these over here just as an option that you know you can do that. For now we are already at the end so middle left and once again over here middle left and OK and we could additionally increase this one to minus 5 and say for the last one minus 7 and so we increase the distances in between the address, the cross reference, the symbolic address, automatic for connection on the device and the function text. We could just now copy the format, then paste the format, and that's it. That's it regarding PLC and all this stuff. So you have the option to represent PLC on different pages. I know it's not common in the NFPA standard, but you have this possibility should your customers say that they want you to do that. In the next video, I'm going to introduce a structure story inside ePlan 
That's it for now.